Welcome, YouTube friends. I'm John Gary from John Gary TV, and we're about to do a fundamental reformer workout. This is beginner level, and we're going to do a full body workout using some of the uh, traditional repertoire and a few variations that will help you get ready for uh, other exercises and also help you get stronger and more mobile. I'm going to begin with footwork, and I have three red or three heavy springs on my reformer. I'm going to come down onto the carriage and position myself right in the center. Then I'm going to put my feet on the foot bar. I'm on the balls of my feet, and I'm creating a small V with my feet. So my toes are apart, and my heels are together. The knees are about shoulder distance apart. And then I'm going to take a big breath in through my nose and exhale and press the carriage out and then return. I want to keep the carriage flowing, so I don't want any stops if possible. That's one of the things we want to practice in Pilates is having nice fluid breath and nice fluid movement. So when in doubt, just keep breathing. But if you can for today, exhale as you reach away and inhale to return. What I'm looking for is work in the foot, ankle, and thighs. So I'm pressing away, straightening the knees, and then coming back in. Let's do two more like this. One more, and then come in. Now let's put our heels on the bar. So we're going to bring the legs together right in the center of the foot bar, and you're going to push into the center of the heel, press out, and return. Press, and return. We do an exhale to press out, inhale to return. You may notice that by switching from the balls of the feet to the heels, we're able to get more with the glutes and hamstrings, the back side of the thigh. So I want you to focus on that part and also focus on not snapping the knees as you straighten them or crashing into the stopper as you return the carriage. Four more, three, two, one more time. Now come on back in and we're going to go into what's known as the high half toe. So really that's just at the end of the ball of the feet. So think standing on the floor on your tiptoes. That's what you want. Keep the heels lifted, press out, and come in. Now you're going to feel the work shift to the calf muscles more and to the quads in this foot position. And press. We're still nice fluid breathing. Exhaling out, inhaling to return, four more, three. Now on this last one, you're going to hold your legs straight and then lower the heels under the bar. So kind of a calf raise and then lift back up. Exhale under, inhale to raise them back up. Lower and lift, down and up. Now don't lock your knees out. You want to keep them straight, but not hyperextended. And I also want you to think about hugging the glutes toward each other, pulling the abs in and bringing the inner thighs toward each other. And you're going to feel that work shift and go all the way up the backside of the leg. Let's do four more. Don't bounce. Three. Exhale as you reach under. Two. And one. And then come all the way in. Now let's take the heels to the outside of the foot bar with the legs turned out. Push away and return. Press and return. That's it. This should feel good after what we just did. I love this back-to-back -back exercise. And we're going to do five more. This is a good glute one, so focus on that. Four. Three. Two and one. Now come in and just shimmy away from the shoulder rest just a little bit. And you can either leave your feet down or I'm going to bring my legs up into tabletop. Take a breath in. And then as I exhale, I'm going to do kind of a variation on a crunch. We call this in Pilates the hundreds position with your upper body. So stay there for a second. Your eye level should be down. Shoulders are slightly forward. Arms are just floating. And then lower back down. Come on up, exhale. You think of sliding your ribs to your hips, but not lifting the tailbone up. Keep the tailbone down. 
and then lower back down. Exhale up. Now, if this is getting to be too much and it's hard to hold your legs up here, just put your heels back on the foot bar. And again, exhale up. Also, your neck muscles need to strengthen. So once they fatigue, they can start to really feel tense. And if that's happening, you can just take your hands and support your head. Exhale up. And down. Last two. Come up. And down one more time. Curl up. And down. Hey guys, before we continue the workout, I just want to tell you about John Gary TV. On John Gary TV, you'll see workouts like this without any ads or any interruptions. We have literally thousands of workouts on John Gary TV. We've got mat workouts, reformer workouts, all kinds of workouts. And we have lots of different subscriptions so you can find the one that's perfect for you. If you check out our link above, you'll see that your subscription is 50% off your first month. I hope you'll Join me over on John Gary TV, and now let's get back to work. All right, now we're going to come up and change our springs so that now we have two red or two heavy springs on, and we're going to come back down onto the carriage and grab your straps. Push the carriage out from the foot bar with your feet and take one foot and place it in the strap. Push into that strap and take the other foot and place it in. Bring your legs together and bend them into what we call tabletop position. Press away and come back in. So if you're newer to the reformer, this can be a position that's tricky to control in the beginning. Your legs kind of want to fly all over the place. So we want to keep the abs really engaged and you want to keep the legs together. That's going to help you control the movement and move slowly. The goal is to move the hip joint and the knee joint, but not change the position of the pelvis. So we're really working the lower part of the body, just the legs. We're not changing our spine or pelvis position. Exhale away, inhale to come back in two more and return them one more time. And come in. Now you're going to press out and stay there. The legs are straight. You're going to hinge up, meaning just the legs lift, not your bum. Keep your bum weighted. And you're going to feel a nice stretch through the hamstrings. Then pull back down. Inhale. You want the legs to come up. But remember, don't lift the tailbone. And come back down. This is giving us a more true hamstring stretch than if we allow the tailbone to curl up. So we don't want that pelvis to rock back. We want to keep it level. Two more times. Lift. Relax the neck and shoulders. One more time. Inhale, the legs come up. And exhale to lower back down. Now you can lift the legs up. Hold them there and just open and close. This is an adductor or inner thigh stretch. Two more. Reach. And close it one more time. Reach and close and come down. Really nice mobility for the hip. Now let's take one foot out and reach for the foot bar. Then take the other foot out and come on in. Come on up. And we're going to change our springs now to just one heavy or one red. I'm going to have a seat facing the back. There's a couple of options here. But first, I want you to make sure that you're seated with some room behind you. Then you can have your legs folded like this, or you can take your legs between the shoulder rests. Side by side if they'll fit, stacked if not. Sit tall, hold the straps in your hands, and pull back. This is a prep for our back rowing series, and it's known as the plow, pulling back, and coming forward. Sit nice and tall. And guys, if you have a hard time sitting tall, sometimes sitting up on top of something like, you know, a folded up towel or some sort of cushion can help you, especially if you've got tighter hamstrings. Pull and really return with control. Two more. 
and one more. That really helps to strengthen the back of the shoulder and the tricep. Now we're gonna take the straps up to your elbows, sit tall, and you're gonna open and close. This is called open elbows. And as you do this, you're gonna feel the shoulder blades kind of glide together as you open and then come back apart. My palms are framing me. So they're always facing my head as I pull the arms out. The palms turn to keep facing my head. This is really good for posture. It's gonna strengthen the muscles between the shoulder blades and behind the shoulder. Four more. And three, keep that breath flowing. Exhale as you open. Two and one and come back in. All right, now take the straps in your hands and if you have your legs crossed, recross them so the other one's on top. Sit tall, breathe in. And then as you exhale, you're gonna bring your hands to your chest and I'm starting to sink back. Make sure you have that room behind you to roll the pelvis back. Not gonna go very far. Think halfway down, find a C curve. Then take the shape forward over the legs and try to stack the spine from tail to head. Exhale, sink back, pull the tailbone underneath you, pull the hands toward your chest. Breathe in, then exhale, fold over the legs and stack up. This is good mobilization for the spine. It's good ab work and forward and up. Two more times, exhale, I'm rolling back. My glutes are working to pull the pelvis underneath me. Then I fold forward, keeping the spine in that C curve and then I stack from tail to head one more time. Roll back, hold it there. Fold forward and stack up to the top. Let's turn and face the side and get a little rotation in. So I'm gonna fold my legs, sit tall. I'm still using the one red, one heavy spring. I'm gonna hold the front strap and the hand closest to it, lace the other arm around. I rotate and come back, rotate and come back. Here's the thing. I want my rib cage to turn, but not my pelvis. So I'm keeping my arms in a circle and I'm keeping my hands lined up with my sternum the whole time. My eye gaze is over my hand. So everything turns together Four and three and two, one more and turn back. Beautiful. All right. Now I'm going to turn around and do that same thing facing the other way. So let's review. I sit legs folded, grab the front strap in the hand closest to it, lace the other hand over the top, form a circle with your arms, sit tall, turn the ribs and return, rotate and come back sitting tall, exhale to turn. Inhale back. Try to keep the weight centered on your sit bones. Rotate and come back. Here we go with four and three and exhale two and one and come all the way back. All right. Return the carriage and then turn and face the front. Once again, you can have your legs folded or you can keep them straight out and they don't have to cross because there's nothing to hold them in between. So you're gonna sit tall and we're gonna arm, pull arms forward up to about eye level and down. So you notice we're kind of working in all different directions, positioning ourselves on the reformer and that's helping to work the core on all sides of the spine and also the muscles of the shoulder and arm by just having the resistance coming from a different direction. Let's do two more, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Now on this one, I'm gonna hold it up there and I'm just gonna turn my arms so that it's like a pec deck or hug a tree is what we call it in Pilates. Open and come around, so like a fly. Open, breathe in, exhale, come around. Sitting nice and tall, pull around. The goal here is to move the arm, but nothing else. So don't let your body sway forward and back. <sighs> Let's do four more. And three, you should feel this in the front of the shoulder, in the pecs, and in the biceps. 
One more. Pull and lower all the way down. All right, now we're going to turn toward the side again. And I'm going to take my legs and I'm going to fold them back so that they're in a box position. And my shin on one leg is parallel to the reformer. The shin on the other leg is parallel to the shoulder rest. Reach my arm up. Press away. Give me a side bend. I still have the one heavier, one red spring on. Come up and down and now the other side. Lift and stretch up and down. Let's do it again. Reach the arm up. I fold over, stretch over, come back up and down. Now I lift the other arm. So we're getting lateral flexion of the spine and back. We did some rotation. We did some flexion. Now we're doing lateral flexion over, up, and other side, reach, over, and up. Now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to face the other direction. Remember, the box legs stay, so they're zigzagged. One shin lined up with the side of the reformer. The other shin lined up with the sh uh, shoulder rest. I lift an arm up. I push away from the foot bar and side bend. Come up and lower that arm down. Other side, lift and side bend. Come up and down. We're going to do that again. Breathe in to bring the arm up. Exhale to press over. Inhale to come up. Exhale down. Other side, lift, over, up, and down. Lift, over, up, and down. Last time, lifting up, coming over, and down. I'm going to turn and face the foot bar now, and I'm going to come on to my hands and knees. I'm going to keep one red and one blue, one heavy and one light spring on. I shift my weight back toward my heels and I round my spine. We're going to do a modification of the down stretch. So you're going to lengthen your spine first, then move the carriage out with your legs and let your hips sink. So we're in extension. Think chest up, shoulders back. And then we're just going to reverse that, bring the knees under, flexing the knees and hips and round your spine again. Let's do that again. You're gonna lengthen your spine, push the carriage out and find that extended position. Then knees underneath, drag the tailbone under and see, I put the spine in a C curve. Lengthen the spine, push back, lift the chest, come back in and find the C curve. So we got a little extension in there too. It's also a nice way to open up the hip flexors. I hope you felt that. I'm gonna keep the one heavy and one light spring on, and I'm gonna take one foot forward on the floor and the back foot against the shoulder rest. So I'm in a kneeling lunge here. The back knee is down. Hands on the foot bar, and I'm just gonna sink into this and then push back with my front leg. Then I bend my front knee, keeping my hips down, and I rise back up. So the first thing I do is sink into a low stretch, bending the front knee. Then using my legs, I push my feet away from each other, really pushing into that back shoulder rest and pushing into the floor with the front foot. Bend the front knee, keeping the hip down and rise up. One more time, sink and push away. Get that stretch. Think of the feet really pushing away from each other not so much the arms working. Come forward and up. All right, I'm going to go over to the other side and find that same position. So back foot is going to be against the shoulder rest. That knee is down. Front foot is on the floor next to the front of the reformer, hands resting on the foot bar. I sink into my lunge first, and then I press the feet away from each other. I come forward and up. I'm going to inhale to sink down and Exhale to press back. Inhale to come forward and exhale up. Do you feel that really nice stretch in the hip flexor of the back leg and the hamstring in the front leg? Such a really good mobility exercise. One more. Down, press back, forward, and all the way up to the top.
And guys, that does it for our fundamental beginner reformer workout number one. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you'll hit the like and the subscribe button. And I hope I see you again soon, either here on YouTube or on John Gary TV, where we have thousands of workouts of all lengths and there are no interruptions. We'll see you there. Bye, buddy. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for working out with me today. I hope that you enjoyed that workout. And if you did, I hope that you will join us over on John Gary TV. John Gary TV has over a thousand workouts that include Reformer, Pilates, Matt, and Fitness. We are your at-home Pilates and Fitness studio. Right now, if you sign up, you'll get 50% off your first month. And it doesn't matter if you don't have a Reformer. If you've got a mat, you can have a mat membership. If you've got some fitness gear, you can have a mat and fitness membership. Or if you've got a Reformer, you can have an all access membership. We've got you covered. So I hope you'll join us over on johngarytv.com today.